Meeting death well is a soul process. And our souls are nourished by beauty and meaning, symbols and imagery. And so the more the rituals around a death really reflect the person who's died and their family and their community and what's true for those people, the more meaningful and the more soul healing they are. So where the funeral is held, what music is played, what food is served, all the little details make a difference in helping us integrate because we find some beauty and meaning where often beauty and meaning is hard to find. And one of the ways we can find beauty and meaning and a beautiful imagery is around the urn we choose. When someone's cremated, their ashes need to go somewhere and you can buy a traditional urn if that fits for you and it may fit perfectly. But it's interesting to think about other options. When my uncle died, he loved his beaten up old guitar. So we dug a hole, we laid the guitar in it, and we poured his ashes into the guitar. My mother is clear that she wants to be buried in this beautiful ceramic soup tureen that her uncle gave her 40 years ago. My father was a geologist. For him, the earth and the stones were the most important thing. We poured his ashes directly in the earth. I've heard of lots of other great things people choose to be buried in, and what matters is that it's fitting for you. Canning jars, Harley Davidson gas tanks, jewelry boxes, cigar boxes, and it can be a beautiful thing to make the container. Even a wooden craft box, a wooden box from a craft store, painted up, filled with beautiful notes, anything that makes it more meaningful and gives you a way to participate can make the whole process more beautiful and more healing. I hope you found this video useful. If you'd like to see more like it, please visit my website. While you're there, you can download a free Holistic Death Resource Kit and learn about my online courses for doing death better.